This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today, we're going to talk about things you can and can't do with your locks. Let's get to it. You cannot attack from the back of a locks. You can stand on it, but you can't attack while you're riding. As soon as you do anything like middle mouse click or click to attack anything, you just stand up onto the back of the locks. You can, however, harpoon something and then set down on your locks and then ride on your locks while you are attached to something that you harpooned. This will still chew through your stamina and it will do it relatively fast. But can you harpoon a locks? Yes, yes you can, you can harpoon locks. This is actually a really good way to tame them. So they do take a very long time to tame. However, it's pretty easy to dig a hole, run up, get their attention, run towards the hole, harpoon them, and then drag them into the hole. This makes it a lot easier to tame them because they can't go anywhere and they're just stuck in the hole. When it comes to feeding your locks and taming your locks, they eat all the plains biome foods. So barley, cloudberries, and flax. You can auto level the riding skill by getting on the back of your locks and riding it into the corner of something so that it can't actually go anywhere. However, while you do not actually have to move across the map in order to level up the riding skill, you do have to spend stamina in order to level the riding skill. So you can ride into a corner and just hit shift to initiate sprinting and then just sprint into a corner until the lock stamina runs out then hop off the locks, go do something else, and come back and rinse and repeat that. Why would you want to level the riding skill this way? Well, because you can kind of AFK and do it, and you don't have to pay attention to where you're going, and you don't actually move across the map when you're doing it. The riding skill affects the lock speed and stamina loss when sprinting. It does not affect stamina regen. When you are riding on the back of the locks and you are sprinting, you damage a lot of different things, including creatures, regular trees, and most structure pieces, including stone. The locks cannot damage hardwood though. So if the locks can damage normal trees that are not hardwood, then are they good at harvesting trees? Not really. When they run into a tree, they do 40 damage to it, which is not enough to knock down most fully grown trees. They can plow through the little saplings relatively quickly, but in order to get them to actually knock down large trees, it's doable, but it's a little awkward and you're honestly better just using an ax. They are, however, not very bad when it comes to breaking logs after you have already chopped down a bunch of trees. So it may be worth keeping one nearby when you are chopping down a forest and you have a bunch of trees on the ground. You can just run over them quickly and easily back and forth with the locks and break them up. The locks can attack while you are on the back of it. All you have to do is run up to the creature you want it to attack and then hit the S key in order to stop from moving and stand there and the locks will just start attacking. I've seen word that fences do not hold locks. However, I tested with a fen the normal wood fence, I tested with stone, and I tested with the iron bars, and all of those things seem to hold the locks just fine because they do not damage when they're just in a normal walk mode. Now, if a creature does come up nearby that is hostile to the locks that will cause the locks to attack, they will destroy whatever barrier is around them with ease. So because of this, it's probably a good idea to use an earth wall in order to keep your locks pinned up just in case a random raid shows up and your locks decide to get a little frisky and destroy their enclosure. Locks cannot go through portals. Locks cannot even teleport with the admin teleport command. So if you are on the back of a locks and you try to teleport, it will just go to the teleportation screen like you are loading someplace else, but you won't move and it'll just load back to where you were. This is the same thing that happens when you're on a boat. Speaking of boats, I was able to get the locks on every one of the boats, although I don't necessarily recommend having it on a raft or the smaller boat because it gets a little janky, but it is doable. Your best bet if you want to transport your locks across the sea is to build the large boat and put it on that one. Locks lose stamina really fast when they are in the water and you are riding them and moving. If you are not moving, they will not lose stamina. They only lose stamina 
when you move them. Now, if you set still on a lox long enough while it is either in the water or out of the water, it will start to just meander around and move on its own. If it does this when it's in the water, it will not lose any stamina. They also seem to naturally work their way towards the shore from deep water. So if you have one on a boat and it falls off the boat, you can just use this method and it will eventually work its way back closer to the shore. Now, in a little bit of testing that I did with this, one of them made it all the way up to land where it was actually standing. It wasn't completely out of the water, but it was on land that it could stand on. The other one that I tested it with just did not. He just did not seem to care. He worked his way closer to the shore and then was just perfectly fine swimming around next to the shore. It is possible to direct them and move them in the water without them losing stamina. And the trick to this is making sure that you have PVP turned on so that you can actually hit them with a harpoon because if they are tamed and you do not have pvp activated you cannot harpoon or damage your animals in any way so you activate pvp attach a harpoon to your locks and then walk towards the front of its head once you do this, it will start moving. However, if it's in its little meander type mood, it's going to just go in whatever direction it feels like facing at that given point of time. In order to direct it in a specific direction, get on its back, hold down your right mouse button, and direct it in the position that you want it to go. Don't actually move or you'll lose stamina. You can turn all you want, just turn your mouse while holding the button and it will turn in that direction. Once you have it in that direction, you're gonna grab your harpoon, you're gonna harpoon it, and you're just gonna step forward until you get to its head. When you stand on the front part of the locks, since you harpoon it in the center, you are technically dragging it and you drag it ever so slowly. Your stamina will start to tick down. That's how you know it's doing the thing and it will start moving extremely slow in that direction. Once you run out of stamina, all you need to do is walk back towards the center of the locks until your stamina is regenerated. Now, while doing this at random points in time, the locks is just going to start moving again on its own. And in order to stop that, all you have to do is get back on the saddle and make it focus in the direction that you want it to go. And then you can just rinse and repeat this process. The harpoon does very little damage to the locks and the locks has a ton of HP. And that's all I have for you for this one. If you got any locks tips or tricks, let us know down in the comments. If you got any locks questions, let us know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. I want to give an absolutely massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite group Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.